My role in this project was to commission artists and communities to be involved in art projects inside and on the outside of the new centre. My name is Pippa Sanderson, I'm the Community Arts Advisor here at Council, Hutt City Council. The first project that I commissioned was a series of concrete panel designs from local artists. Designs were commissioned to go on the concrete panels around the outside of the building and they were the first art project that people have seen. Another project was the projects that the Film for Change folk have been involved in and that was a series of films made by kids. In this particular project we're engaging with the local community um, and getting kids of all ages involved to hear local stories, to come up with their own and to learn how to make them into film. Another project I commissioned was a mural that involved the artist Shane Tuffery working with local community to paint a mural. So the aim of the mural project was again the aim of the art projects which was to involve the local community in developing artworks for the Titus Centre. My name is Shane Tuffrey, I'm a visual artist and recently I've ventured out into painting murals, uh, helping the community design and um, execute murals. Uh, we, we did four workshops, we were in the Pomari Community Hall and we just got out some wooden tables, some newspaper and whole lot of materials and invited the public to come along. You have to involve the community and uh, I like doing that because it's, uh, you get their input because it's theirs uh, at the end and they have to look at it every day uh, so um, it's really important they have input. You can't do some arty farty thing out there where people don't understand it. You're going to do something that tells a story and connects them. That's the beauty of murals. The last project that I commissioned was a flags project and that was um, organised in partnership with Jen Boland and Jolie De Gaia from the education team at the DAS. Our goal was to create a sense of belonging in the centre and to get the kids thinking about how the centre was going to become a part of their neighbourhood before it actually opened. The project started when Pippa Sanderson and I sat down and we had a big brainstorm about a collaborative artwork that we could do that involved as many kids as possible. And we decided, oh, what would be really great would be to do flags and then hang them as buntings in the new concourse. So when the kids get there, they'll look up and they'll see themselves in the centre. We had the pleasure of working with seven different schools. We had Wilfred School, St Michael's School, Paul Marie, Avalon Intermediate, Titus Central, Rada Street and Dyer Street. And then we also went to the Kids Connect Hui. And we wanted to be able to capture the kids' thoughts for the future and their hopes and their dreams. So they were thinking about one main idea and a symbol that could represent that. And they could choose whether or not they used words or symbols or pictures. This is three. There's another 850 hanging from the ceiling. So there's value aesthetically in the space, but the value is greater than that because it's about the belonging. It's about those kids having an idea that they are already in that centre and when they go, they'll recognise their place in it and they'll feel welcome. To have, you know, artwork in there, I think just makes it feel human. It makes a connection to local. I think people will be able to see themselves in the mural and in the, the flags project. Um, the concrete panels on the outside in particular are just are gorgeous.